So, as you guys already know, I did see the Man United game. Obviously, I was at work, so I couldn't really... I, I watched the first half because it was early. It was about 4 or 5 o'clock, and we were just chilling or whatever. So, I got to work, watch the whole first half of it, but I did not see the second half. And then I look at the thing. I, I, I didn't see the second half, but I looked at the little tick or whatever, and I saw Maguire subbed on for Veron in the 46 minutes. So, I'm like, it's a wrap. Whatever. It went on from there, whatever. Um... And yeah, Man United do what Man United do. Mason Mount scoring in the 96th minute of added time, doing the knee slide, doing all of a sudden jumping on each other's backs. They're celebrating. Come on, bye. Yeah, yeah, celebrating with the crowd. And then they go down two minutes later and concede. I mean, really, man. You know, like, if I was celebrating, if I just scored a game winner and then we go down two minutes later and concede, oh, my goodness. If that's not Man United in a nutshell, I don't know what is, man. This, this oh my goodness, bro, it, it, it's crazy. It, it's absolutely crazy. But there's no shock on my face. And you know the um, Ten Hag enters. You know they posted with Mason Mount. They're like, yeah, yeah, Ten Hag is. Shh. And then and then and then when Brentford dunked on us, then the Ten Hag outers count. I'm I'm I'm. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so dumb with this shit, dude. It, it, it's stupid. And then next week, we got Chelsea and Liverpool. We got Chelsea on Thursday and Liverpool on Sunday in the league. So, headache season is coming. Headache season is coming. Because I already know what the deal is going to be. It's going to be a lot of drama in those games as well. That game was 0-0 until the 90th minute. Because I looked at it, and it was the 92nd minute that I turned my phone off because I was at work when I had to work. I I, I looked. I was like, oh, okay, 0-0. That's probably going to end 0-0 draw. I look at my phone. I was like, I look at it again. Oh, it's 1-1. I'm like, what? How'd it go 1-1? One, one? Then I saw, oh, they added nine minutes of added time. The added time is ridiculous. Long, stretched out. Like I said, these professional teams, players, they can score three goals in 10 minutes. And they score two. Because they added on, like, what was it? What did it go to, 103 minutes? That's like 13. That's long. They're stretching these games out with this added time, which is going to lead to injuries and a bunch of other stuff. And they score two goals. Only Man United could score a game winner, do a knee slide, jump up and dead, jump with the crowd, do all that stuff, and then go get dunked on on the other end two minutes later. That sums up Man United, this, in a nutshell. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm glad I wasn't watching that, because if we would have scored a 96, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I saw Mark, uh, Mark Goldberg's reaction. I saw a few of the reactions. What like, yeah, come on, yeah. And then they go down to score uh, two minutes later? It's like, Really? So I'm kind of glad. It was almost a blessing in disguise. I was at work and I wasn't watching that because, man, oh, my goodness, man. Absolutely ridiculous stuff from Man United. But it, it doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Maguire's still here. He's getting minutes. Oh, man. He's still getting minutes in 2024. I rest my case, man. And all people say, oh, you're singling out Maguire. He's a bum. I'm tired of talking about this guy. Every time I see him getting subbed on the way, I'm like, why is he still here? 90% of the fan base knows he's a joke. They know what the deal is. They know he's trash. Even his biggest people who like him, they know. They're like, oh, he's, he's whatever. It's, it's time. It's, I'm done with this stuff, man. They keep talking, And then they keep talking about Ten Hag or whatever. He's in the press conference uh, with his head down or whatever. Oh, he's frustrated. Oh, this. Uh, whatever, man. Put up or shut up. Win this cup. This FA Cup is it because the way it's going right now, we might get fifth. We might not even get fifth place. So we're going to either get sixth or seventh place. We're eight points behind Tottenham. We're going to get sixth or seventh place. And if we go out the cup, is that acceptable to y'all? It ain't acceptable to me. Seventh, sixth, seventh place, no trophies. That's a shit season. And it's the same thing with getting top four as well. Why are people accepting third, fourth fucking loser? Why? I want to win. Win the league, win the Champions League. I want to win. I want to win titles. I want to win. People say, oh, it's a project. Give it time. How much time is it? It's been over 10 years. Why isn't the structure in place by now? They keep talking about building. Um, either they're going to up revamp the stadium or fuck, fuck the stadium. Get this team in order. Get them trophies in the cabinet. I don't care about no stadium. Who cares? Man, we're not serious. We're not serious. We're doing the wrong stuff. We're doing it backwards. But I rest my case, man. I, I, it is what it is. I, like, I don't know what else to say, man.
It's crazy. I didn't even watch it. And it's like, I expect this stuff because it's so stupid. It's so stupid, man. Please let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Manchester United are professional headaches. That's going to be the title of this video. And I'm out, man. Peace out.